for Mother Nature. Lace up your sneakers and join our Bahamasa Development Group as they present the Save River Reezy Marathon 2023. This highly anticipated event will take place on Sunday, July 30th, 2023 at the beautiful Barara Golf Course Grounds. Are you passionate about sustaining environmental conservation efforts? Then this is the event for you. Join us as we run for a cause and raise awareness for the conservation of the River Reezy. Our river, our responsibility. To participate, simply purchase a run vest at 20k. Don't miss out on this opportunity to make a difference and show your support for our planet. For sponsorships and more, contact us at 0776-232-422 or 0756-736-836. Save River Reezy Marathon 2023 is powered by NBS, Tasso Tonde, Ministry of Water and Environment and Mbarada City. The Jacos, sorry, uh, service commanders, Jacos, general officers present. Proto observed. I'm Brigadier General Eugene Sebugao. The Chief of Personnel of the Administration. I'm going to take you through the citations of the two generals who were recently promoted before we decorate them. I start with the full profile of RO. 08643 General Mohoz Kainerugawa General Mohoz Kainerugawa was born on 24th of April 1974 in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania to Mr. and Mrs. Yoweri Kabuta Museveni In the areas of his life General Kainerugawa attended schools in Tanzania Kenya and Sweden. After the NRM, from government in 1986, General Kainerugawa returned to Uganda and attended several schools in Uganda and later abroad, namely Kampala Parent School, King's College, Budo. St. Mary's College, Kisuri, Nottingham University, where he graduated with a Bachelor of Arts in Political Science. Military training. Yendo Kainerugawa started military training in 1994 after he left high school, but formally enlisted into the UPDF on 14th of August 1999. Since then, he has undergone several military training courses that include the following. Officer Cadet at the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst in 2000. Tank Commander's course in Karama Amadou Warfare Training School 2001. Company Commander's course and Battalion Commander's course at Egyptian Military Academy. Counter-terrorism. Diploma in Airborne Operations in USA, United States Army Commander and General Staff College in Fort Lewisville, Le 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 Kansas in, in 2008, Executive National Security Program in South Africa, <laughs> Military Command and Staff Appointments held over the years. General Kainerugawa has held several command and staff appointments. Currently, he is the senior presidential advisor on national security. Previous command and staff appointments held include Head of Combat Readiness, PPO, 
commanding officer motorized infantry battalion in the presidential guard brigade, commanding officer two tank battalion, this was also in the presidential guard battalion brigade, command special force command, then of recent command and armed forces. Promotion history. General Kaida Rugaba was promoted to the rank of general on 4th October 2022. Previously, he held several ranks as per the foreign promotion history. He was commissioned in 2000, then promoted to the rank of lieutenant in 2001, promoted to the rank of captain in 2002, promoted to the rank of major in 2003, Promoted to the rank of Lieutenant Colonel 2008. Promoted to the rank of Colonel in 2011. Promoted to the rank of Brigadier in 2012. Promoted to the rank of Major General 2016. Promoted to the rank of Lieutenant General in 2021. And on the 4th of October 2022, he was promoted to a full general. Sir, General Mohoska Inarugaba is a family man, happily married to Charlotte Nankunda Kainarugaba, and they are blessed with the children. Sir, so, I now present General Mohoska Inarugaba for decoration. The next, the handover over the office of Commander Land Forces by General Mozi to Lieutenant General Kayanga. I therefore want to take this opportunity on my own behalf and on behalf of the UPDF to congratulate you for attaining Run. My job is to invite the presiding officer to come and make his remarks. And that's why we have uh, called back our Uganda Development Forces so that they can uh, hear how he wants it in order to concretize this relationship between the developers and those who ensure that there is a favorable environment for development. We all know, no, not yet, sir. <laughs> uh, we all know that handover and takeover is a form of accountability. And uh, General Mbozi, we want to thank you for what you've done in this very short time because you have dedicated the contributed to the professionalization of our force. You have passionately led many fruitful coinetic operations against Uganda's adversary. Adversaries, you fought mismanagement of logistics. You have worked on first generation for this army. Infrastructure development, as we shown here, and ideological mobilization in the UPDF. And obviously, 
building on the efforts of our revolutionary leaders, like our commander in chief, our presiding officer here, you have contributed to the peace and the security in the country, which obviously we all know is a prerequisite for economic development. General Kayanga, you have been there when the duty has called. Operation of Shuja now. Kalongero in Somalia. So we are really witnessing a memorable day for these two great generals because they have been an epitome of our experience as UN and UPDF through their cautious character, teamwork, integrity, bravery, love for knowledge, and creativity. So there are these uh, uh, ranks uh, a reward for these uh, uh, numerous uh, uh, engagements in which you have been involved to ensure UPDF becomes a, a force to reckon with and especially in the capability enhancement capacity enhancement of forces, the welfare of the soldiers, infrastructure development, so that we have an all-round professional, effective, and efficient force. General Kayanja, the outgoing CLF, has outlined the areas he has covered, but also those pending areas. We will continue to support you to make sure that uh, you complete these uh, tasks that they hand, handed over to you. And I want to think that my uh, uh, friend uh, General Mohozi will continue to be available to guide on certain areas on how he has been uh, um, moving around, juggling around uh, them so that you can have uh, a successful tour of duty uh, in this office. I want to urge the team that General Moses has been working with here to give your full support to General Kayanja as you did for General Moses so that there is continuity. I want to thank our two great ladies Mrs. Mwazi and Mrs. Kayanja for being there for your friends. You know, you must be a brave woman to love a soldier because uh, most of the time we are not around, but you hold the fort while we are away. So I really want to thank you and uh, because they say for every great man there is a great woman behind. 
we do what we do because we know they are there. So I want to thank you. For Mother Nature, lace up your sneakers and join our Bahamasa Development Group as they present the Save River Rizi Marathon 2023. This highly anticipated event will take place on Sunday, July 30th, 2023 at the beautiful Barara Golf Course Grounds. Are you passionate about sustaining environmental conservation efforts? Then this is the event for you. Join us as we run for a cause and raise awareness for the conservation of the River Rizi. Our river, our response Responsibility. To participate, simply purchase a run vest at 20k. Don't miss out on this opportunity to make a difference and show your support for our planet. For sponsorships and more, contact us at 0776-232-422 or 0756-736-836. Save River Rizi Marathon 2023 is powered by NBS, Tasso Tonde, Ministry of Water and Environment and Mbarada City.